Um, probably Billie Jean King. I think she's been wonderful, you know, for the game of tennis uh, on the women's side. Um, and I think she's uh, such an inspiration for a lot of people. I like people who inspire others, and I think Billie Jean does exactly that, and I always love to see her. Steffi Graf, always. Um, well, she was doing things, so, you know, obviously growing up in Germany as well and you know, hearing all the stories, um, for sure, Steffi. Um, you know, it was great to have a, an idol like that growing up. Maybe I say Lindsay won um, because she been through many difficult times as well with a lot of injuries and problems and she always came back and, and fight and be in the top of, of her sport so I think I'm pretty admiring her as an as a athlete. I admire Steffi Graf. Um, since I'm a kid I was always watching her matches uh, in the TV and um, yeah, I was cheering for her. She was the inspiration for me to starting uh, playing tennis. For me it's uh, Justine Anand. I admire the fact that she was playing on a single hand backhand. One of the few women tennis players to play single hand backhand. And uh, she she was not very big, but she managed to face all these, you know, tall, strong, powerful athletes, and that was inspiring to see. I admire Esther Ferguer a lot. I would say she has done so much for the women's sport, in like for wheelchair. She has not lost a match in like so many, so many years, and right now she's still doing so much, so much for the sport. So um, yeah, I think she's an unbelievable uh, person for doing that. I would say Kimiko. Kimiko Date. Um, she works very hard. I uh, think she's uh, very professional. We played uh, once uh, mixed uh, doubles in together and it was so much fun. I have so many female athletes that I admire, but I think, you know, a current athlete, active athlete, would be Steph Gilmore. The, the way that she's gone about chasing her seven world titles and now after an eighth, she's inspired a generation all around Australia. She's inspired me and, and she continues to do so. I think some of the best and most inspiring female athletes of all time are coming from our sport. Uh, Billie Jean King, Martina Navratilova, Serena Williams, you know, the list goes on. I mean, I think what Serena is doing still currently is, is, is outstanding and as a mother coming back and Azarenka as well as a mother coming back, I, I, you know, for a man it's, it's much easier after you become a parent to to keep on playing tennis, obviously, a woman has to go through the entire transformation and then come back and, and, and still compete at the highest level. That's a tremendous respect from my side and they're, they're really inspiring. I would say Justine Nunn because I watched uh, since actually almost I was born. She was my idol in tennis and she was a great model for my uh, career. The, the first I, I saw in TV was Steffi Graf. I really loved to watch her. She had a great uh, variety in her game. She won uh, so many titles and um, I never met her unfortunately, but seems like she stayed very grounded. She stayed very normal as a person. When I was growing up, I, I liked watching Steffi Graf. Um, she was obviously a great player, um, brilliant athlete. I think on, on the court, like mentally very, very strong. Um, as well and then since she finished playing you haven't seen her around the, the tournaments uh, too much um, either I don't think she have a big ego or anything like that. For me it's always been Serena um, like that's kind of how I got into tennis in the first place. Um, for me I honestly only watch tennis to watch Serena <laughs> like I didn't really watch any other matches when the Grand Slams were on I only watched her and then I kind of turned the TV off. <laughs> um, I don't know, like I've gotten the chance to play her of course, but um, like just interacting with her too is kind of crazy because, um, I don't know, as a little kid you don't know that you kind of get the chance for your dreams to come true like that.